during the brief time between recordings, you missed Spock coughing. Oh, what a great loss that is. Spock is analyzing the surroundings. Lieutenant Ferris is carefully watching the hallway. Again, what hallway? Where? McCoy is fidgeting around. Kirk is looking closely at the equipment. At least all this equipment appears to be operating. Captain, the fusion reactor doesn't seem to have been tampered with. I suggest we leave the controls as they are. But thermonuclear explosions are fun. <coughs> Sir, I'll watch the door so we don't get cornered. Oh, the station's fusion reactor. Very nice. What are we going to tour next? The ventilation system? Funny you should mention that since... This is a screen and filter for the ventilation shaft. You need something to pry this open. For some reason that something is the wrench which doesn't really look like it's any thinner than fingers. The vent is now open. It leads to the lower deck. This is a vent shaft that leads to the lower level. Can we... To the Romulan Street. You get no response. Oh. oh, Spock, can you mess with that? Nothing unusual. I fail to see the logic in that action, Captain. Oh. This is the engineering center. This is an engineering access panel allowing repairs to be made to the interior wiring in the equipment. Ooh. You need something to pry this open. Fine. Wrench it is again. Apparently that's the only tool you need in the future. The panel is open. You see vast quantities of dust and stripped insulation from wiring repairs made to the console in the past. There is a pile of stripped insulation that fell out of the engineering access panel. Hmm. There is a pile of stripped... Oh. Spock? A prime source of raw material for TLDTH gas. And the first thing you think of is Romulan laughing gas which, gas which affects Vulcans as well. Oh Spock, we need to talk about your habit sometime. You grab a handful of insulation. Which, as a side note, used the same graphic as the wires from the previous mission. Wiring repair jobs sometimes make a mess. This insulation was left over from someone who thought their repair is good enough. No, Scotty, for you. Finally, we have... This is a service access panel permitting used up or worn materials to be replaced. Okay. The panel opens. You see a gas tank labeled N2 with its feed lines running deeper into the wall. Oh, what exactly? N2 gas tank. I would, what do they need nitrogen for here? Oh, let's pick it up. The anti-grav unit hums and emits the stink of ozone before it fail-safes. The unit cannot lift something fastened to the body of the station captain. The tank must be detached first. Fine, and of course... The tank detaches easily. I guess this made it easier to replace the tank every so often, eh, Captain? The tank is too heavy to move by muscle alone. Oh, no it isn't. Kirk just doesn't want to show off how awesome he is. Because he is so humble. You attach the anti-grav unit to the gas tank. It can be moved freely. It sure beats hauling it around on our back, sir. I seem to remember something which I think I'll test. Oh, close to the opening here. Watch out, sir. It looks like the Romulans have taken control of the lower decks. Right. That made me jump. Ooh. As I said 
mentioned before, actually trying to use the ladder will end up in the death of whoever attempts it. But let's cook up. Ooh. This container contains polyberyl carbonate produced from insulation. Which has some tantalolithial stuff, I suppose. Now we can open the gas feeds. Naturally, with the friend wench. Gas feed is on. Let's cook up some dihydrogen oxide. The machine synthesizes the leader of pure water. A clean drink of water, but I don't see its application in the context of our difficulties, Captain. Let's pick it up anyway. You take a one liter container of pure water. Also, let's get some hydroxide on this stuff. The machine synthesizes one liter of TLTDH gas. An unusual compound, Captain. It can induce laughter and feelings of exhilaration in some, much the way nitrous oxide affects humans. It doesn't affect Vulcans, of course. Actually, Doctor, both Romulans and Vulcans suffer its effects. Hmm. Why, that's just dead! Vulcan laughing gas! Please, Doctor, this is not a laughing matter. You may be wondering whether we can... You take a one liter container of TLTDH gas. And the answer is... A loud hissing fills the room. Yes, we can. Excuse me for my stuffy throat at the moment. However, there is an actual useful application for the gas as well. So, let's make another batch. You grab a handful. Get the insulation. I never knew electrical insulation could be used to create drugs. under the influence of the gas. He'll make some odd comments now and then. The machine synthesizes one liter of TLTDH gas. An unusual count it doesn't affect Julie. Why, that's please, Doctor. We are going to laugh. <coughs> no, not laugh. Hang on to this we for now. We take a one liter container of TLTDH gas. Let's see what else we can create with this. Gas feed is off. Up one of the time. It's what I was afraid of, Jim. I think Spock is getting worse. Ah, he's fine and dandy. Look, he's even smiling occasionally now. You attach the anti grav unit to the gas tank, it can be moved freely. Mm. Nitrogen. You install the gas tank to the synthesizer's feed lines. How many admirals does it take to wire in a logic transmogrifier? I don't know, Spock. Why don't you tell me? Gas feed is on. Fine, McCoy. It's what I was afraid of, Jim. I think... Okay, it's the exact same line. <laughs> the machine synthesizes a liter of nitrous oxide. Be careful with that canister, Captain. I think you would not care to fall under the effects of laughing gas in these straits. Do you mean to say it's undignified, Spock? It is, at the least, inappropriate for a starship crew on duty, Doctor. Oh, lighten up, Spock. I know I will. 
If you take a one liter container of nitrous oxide. Shh. Once I do this. A loud hissing fills the room. You look troubled, Captain. And now that we are a group of Romulan laughing gas. My father would never approve. You take a one Now that we have a group of merry men, I think it's time for a break.